Welcome to Intercraft channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to figure out the resolution of a photo engraving versus the size of the photo considering the size of the desired details. I've engraved this photo on different materials and sizes with different lasers, blue and infrared. And folks have been asking me about the, the photo settings and engraving parameters. So I decided to make this video and share it with you all. I'll import this photo and let's say I want to engrave it on plywood, for instance, with the size of 200 mm times 200 mm in width and height. What I do next is to crop it to to be exactly 200 times 200 millimeter. Draw a rectangle, make it as a frame, move it to the area of interest on the photo and select both the frame and the, the photo. Right click, apply mask to the image, then flatten the image mask. Now we are ready to investigate what is the best LPI or DPI to choose for revealing the desired details on this photo. Start with 0.1 mm for line intervals. Right click and adjust image. What we can see on this screen on the left is the original image, the pixelated image, and on the right side is the desert image based on the chosen mode and interval. In fact, the scale of this image on the screen is different than the actual size of the engraving. To get a better sense of the actual size of the engraving, I would crop a rectangle with the width of 122 mm. This is the actual size which my screen shows. Select it as frame, apply the mask and flatten again. Now check the adjust image window. The actual size of the engraving has the same dimension and most importantly the same details as we see on the screen. Now we can change the intervals and get the feeling of how the details will reveal themselves with different LPIs. So we can see and adjust according to our expectations. But what I'm expecting here to engrave a photo similar to the one on the screen is based on the fact that the speed, power and the photo adjustment settings are found according to the techniques described in episode 3 and 4 of this channel. By following these techniques, like these examples, you may expect to get what you see on the screen as the data image to be engraved on the material. Though the engraving shown on plywood few seconds ago was done with 0.08 mm intervals, I'm going to engrave part of this image with the interval which I have found now to be enough for revealing the details, 0.14 mm. And for comparison, engrave the same with 0.08 mm. I opened the adjust image window for 0.14 and 0.08 mm to check the difference in distribution and resolution of the detailed images. There are a few important parameters to respect when choosing different line intervals, which they have been found by previous tests according to episode 3 and 4. The engraving speed, PPI of the image, enhancement radius and amount, and most importantly the levels of the original image. These are the parameters that you may need to run different tests to fill in the supporting tables of your calculator, then use them later. So I have prepared these two tests according to the settings I found before and fed them into my calculator. It's recommended as well to set the PPI two times bigger than the LPI, which gives four times more pixel than the desert image. The enhancement was also figured out according to many trials, but you may always need to check yourself since these calculated parameters are practical and might be different for different pictures and materials. 
I've sent these two images, one with 0 0.08 and 0 0.14 millimeter intervals to engrave on plywood. By looking at these two engraved photos, we cannot see a major upgrade of the resolution by lowering the line interval from 0 0.14 to 0 0.08 millimeter. Though we have only increased the engraving time from 9 to 26 minutes, and only got a little bit more details on the eyes. Respecting the time per pixel or dot of each pulse, the speed has a linear relation to the line interval. So basically we have increased the time by a factor of 14 over 8 to the power of 2, which explains why it takes 3 times longer. What I have done so far was to grab a piece of the photo that I want to engrave, which has the same actual dimensions on my screen, and especially the same visualization and feeling of the dirtered image. Then I can evaluate which interval delivers enough details of my expectations and to my satisfaction. But this is not a systematic approach. As you may have noticed from the calculator I have used a couple of times in this video, I don't like to work with the numbers, I like to have some quantitative measures. If I put the user expectations and the human eye as the evaluator of a photo engraving on one side of the scale, the other side might be the number of pixels, dots on an engraving, per length of the selected details. What I found so far, in case of finding the right laser and photo setting parameters and choosing the right line interval, having 25 pixels is enough to reveal the details. Now let me show you how this identification of the details and calculation of DPI works. Mostly the details we want to get from a photo are periodic. Branches of a tree, fur of an animal, or like here, iris of an eye. What I do is to select the region covering one line of the iris and the gap between. In a pixelated language, assume you want to figure out the minimum size of a QR code that you want to engrave with the chosen DPI. The detail size is the width of one black and one white cell. What I get here as the size of the details from the iris of the eye is 3.5 millimeter. If I put it in the calculator, it recommends me for getting details contained in 3.5 millimeter. I can engrave with 0 0.14 millimeter. Then I choose 0 0.14 as an interval and the scale becomes 1 as well. And it shows me that it's going to take about 9 minutes to engrave. Now check on the left eye. It seems the iris has more and smaller details. So if I draw a square of uh, about 2 millimeter, there might be more details to acquire. And if I put this number on the calculator, it recommends me to use an interval of 0. 0 0.08 millimeter and it calculates that it takes about 27 minutes to engrave. So this file is engraved once with a 0 0.14 millimeter interval for 3.5 millimeter details and 0 0.08 millimeter intervals for 2 millimeter details. Putting these two engraving next to each other shows as we have seen before, no big difference in general, but only details of the eye on the left is more revealing when the interval was 0.08 mm. Now I show you another example on anodized aluminium business card and the same photo where I would like to get similar details. I update the dimensions of the engraving of the calculator and check again the size of the square which can contain the detail that I like to acquire. It shows me the details should be contained in a one millimeter square. 
choosing one millimeter as detail size recommends interval of 0.04 millimeter with my blue laser I would not go below 0.08 millimeter but instead I have an IR laser that the recommended interval is 0.04 millimeter so the scale becomes one and the engraving may take about 38 minutes I have the speed and the power and the other settings which insert them on the laser software but let us check how a detailed photo of 54 times 86 millimeter looks like on a screen to be able to get a one to one photo I may draw a rectangle with the width of 122 millimeter which is dimension on my screen check for yours and do accordingly and the uh, height of a couple of millimeter and attach it to the photo now I have this photo with the right magnification and dimensions on my screen since this photo is engraved with 0.04 millimeter I will check what is recommended as enhancement parameter do not forget that I have sized this photo to have a pixel per inch twice as the dot or lines per inch on the detailed image. Correct enhancement radius can help to make the detailed image sharpened. I should remind that again. These numbers I am using here are my findings and practical. And this is a result of the engraving of this photo with the shown settings on black anodized aluminum business card the next example is on a stainless steel sheet metal with the size of 29 times 42 millimeter that I've decided to engrave the same photo and corresponding details then I would change the size to 29 and the 42 here and relatively the details are become half as well so I would uh, enter 0.5 millimeter. I choose the right material stainless steel and detail. It recommends me to choose 0.02 millimeter as line interval. Remember that I have done many tests in advance and fill in the information to this calculator, which now can use to recall the parameters. So I get the speed and power enhancement parameters and the PPI and the levels all calculated for this image. Before importing the, to the laser, I should apply these uh, parameters to, to the image. Dimension set, the scale is one now and it may take 53 minutes. So let us go on the laser software, set the parameters and the detailed mode and the enhancement radius and amount. And as you can see, Lightburn also predicts 54 minutes for this engraving okay the engraving is done and it looks fantastic all the details light and dark shades are engraved nicely on the stainless steel I've done another example with similar concept on a thin copper sheet as you can see the results are impressive too I hope you liked this video and found it useful See you another time.